In this SketchUp Pro 2022 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly put holes in walls to add windows and doors. In SketchUp, we draw rectangles often, and then we want to make those into walls with the push-pull tool. Here we are in SketchUp, we can see the axes, and what we're going to do is draw a rectangle to represent our wall. So I'll draw this rectangle out, and if you look at the bottom of the screen, we can type in 10 feet, and then type comma, and we can type the dimensions of this wall. This time I'm going to go 5.5 uh, inches. Now if I orbit by holding the middle mouse button, I can see the wall and press P, and now I can pull this wall up, and I can type 9 feet. So now I have a 9 foot wall, and of course if I pushed and pulled this, it would change its shape, but we're not going to do that. What we want to do now is put a window in this wall. Let's get the rectangle tool again, then click, release, drag, and let's type in two foot, comma two foot, do a two foot square window, press P. If I select this surface, and then I extend back, and I inference on the back edge of the wall, this will disappear. And now we have a window, and what's nice about this is we can use push and pull to change the size of the window very easily. What about a door? So let's go ahead and move this window over to the side. So in SketchUp, it's very easy to make a door as well. We'll go ahead and press R to get the rectangle tool. And this time I'm gonna use inferences in SketchUp. So I'll be on the edge. SketchUp has many different inferences. And if I click here, I can also see the inference for on the green here. And then I'll click, press P to push pull, and then go all the way back to the edge. There's many ways to do this. I could inference on the back corner here on the endpoint, or I could just go to this back surface. And then it's going to automatically cut that out. And notice what SketchUp did here. It cut out the bottom part as well. So now we have a place for a window and a door. One thing we want to do before adding any other details is make this into a group. So when we add door trim or window trim, it's not part of this same geometry. To do that, press the space bar. Then triple click, press Control G or Command G to create a group in SketchUp. And now this is a group. So now if I go ahead and get another rectangle and I click down here and I come across to make a door, then I press P, I can go up and I want to inference to the top panel right here. And now I have a door and I would probably want to go ahead and group that as well. The reason we want to have these be different groups is now if we press the rotate tool, I can click on this door and then I can swing and move and rotate it separate from the other pieces, which is really great. And eventually we could add in specific trim details and make these a component so it is duplicatable. So that's a simple way to make Cuts in Walls for Windows and Doors in SketchUp Pro 2022. And hopefully this helps you quickly 3D model any room of your choice.